going on guys? Have a good night. with another video. And today I'm to go ahead and talk to you guys about 25 things players hate in Clash Royale part four in case you haven't watched part one two and three i'll leave them all at the end of the video but if you guys want to see part five make sure to destroy the like button and comment below letting me know and also one last thing if you guys want to go ahead and enter my monthly gift card giveaway all you got to do is like and comment as usual and that's pretty much it so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it number one when you throw arrows at a minion horde and they survive this only happens when going against people who have higher cards than you and since we're so used to arrows taking out minions, when it doesn't, it's a nightmare. Number two, when you only have one legendary, open a chest and get the same legendary. Okay, yay, it's level two now. That's not that bad, right? But when you only have one legendary, wait a few weeks and get the same one, it can be a bit frustrating. Number three, when you fireball the elixir collector and one second later they drop three musketeers. This usually only happens at the beginning of the match because you didn't know they had three musketeers. So now that you used your fireball, good luck. Number four, when you counter elite barbarians with skeletons and they get zapped. About 90% of the time, I counter elite barbarians with something small like goblins or skeletons. And when they get zapped, well, there goes my tower. Number five, when you're playing a draft battle, give the guy a trash card, but that card ends up being super OP and annoying. You know, for example, I don't really use the Sparky, so in a draft challenge, I don't usually pick it. But then she ends up being a nightmare. Number six, when you think it's the last battle, but you still have one trophy to go. For example, if you're at 3970 trophies, most battles give you mm, around 30 trophies, but then you win a battle and it gives you 29 trophies. So now you're stuck at 39.99. Number seven. This one is not in Clash Royale, but when watching Clash Royale videos, there's always that one fake comment saying, find out how YouTubers get all these gems. I'm sure you guys know it's fake, and I hope you don't click on those links. That's not how we get our gems. Number eight, when you try and clone some troops, but they all die. So you just clone thin air. The feeling when you waste elixir cloning nothing at all. Isn't that great? Number nine, when you run out of chest slots. So you only have two options if you really want to keep getting chests. Gem one or get off the game. Number 10, when you place a card right next to something that was just about to get fireballed. If you would have known, maybe you'd wait a second more to place that troop, but too late. Number 11. When everyone is bragging on how they got a legendary from the clan chest, but all you got was like 30 raid spells. And then it's even worse when someone asks you what you got. Number 12. When you place the graveyard on a tower and the skeletons decide to walk over to the king tower and activate it. Good job, skeletons. Number 13. When you buy a legendary from the shop and then get it for free in a chest. If I would have known, I would have never spent 40k on it. I don't know about you, but... I don't really care about level 2, I'm trying to save money. Number 14, when you're trying to lower the volume but accidentally put your phone to sleep. Well, you better hope you haven't been 3 crowned by the time you put in your password. Number 15, when your friend leaves a clan battle so now you're stuck in a 1 versus 2. There's no way you're gonna win, so yeah. Number 16, when Clash Royale buffs a card that used to be bad but yours is only like level 1 because you thought you'd never use it. For example, if you remember, the Royal Giant used to suck. Like, nobody used it. And then Supercell made it super OP. Just a little too OP. Well, my Royal Giant was only level 4 when that happened. Number 17. When you're about to win, and all of a sudden you hear... Number 18, when you're trying to log a bandit while she's dashing, it ain't gonna stop her and you're better off using that log when she's already hit your tower. Number 19, when you log a princess but she doesn't even die. This often happens if the princess is a much higher level and it's super annoying when one of the main princess counters doesn't even work. Number 20, when you have a huge push you spend 20 elixir on and they just counter it all with one rocket. Like you had a bowler, mega minion, and goblins, and all this other crazy nonsense, and one second later, it's all gone by just one rocket. Number 21, when a lower level beats you, well, he has skills, I gotta give it to him, but it's also a huge embarrassment, especially if someone is spectating. 
Number 22. When the opponent drops a golem and a poison, and the only thing you had to counter the golem was light troops like goblins and minions, skeletons. So now you have to watch the golem get 5 hits until the poison runs out. You better hope he doesn't have arrows too. Number 23. When you accidentally place a building too early so the royal giant shoots it from across the river. Well, your building basically just served as more time for the opponent to get more elixir type thing. Better luck next time. Number 24. When you take out a card from your deck, but the next battle you end up needing it so bad. Like sometimes I just sit there and think, hmm, I'm not really using the Inferno Tower, so I'm gonna swap it with skeletons. And then the next battle they drop a Lava Hound. Man. And finally on to number 25, when you start a battle and your start deck is all spells. I'm not exactly sure what I can do with Rage, Heal, Zap, and Arrows, so I guess I'm screwed. But guys, that is pretty much it for part 4 of this series. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I also want to thank you all for the comments left in my last one. It really helped writing this video, and also the insane amount of likes on part 3 really shows you guys want this to be a series. So, I guess it is. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for videos. Tell me what you guys think below in the comment section. See you on the next one. Peace.